Environmental pollution. Pollution and pollutants. Pollution is the introduction of contaminants that are harmful for life into the natural environment. A pollutant is a substance or energy introduced into the environment that has harmful effects. These contaminants can be animal wastes, industrial wastes, ash, dust, and smoke. Kind of pollution Air pollution Air is polluted when gases, dust particles, smoke, or odor are added into the air, which makes it harmful to humans, animals, and plants. The air become dirty and unclean due to addition of these. Road dust, carbon dioxide, gas produced from burning coal, oil, gas, or wood goes into air. Burning of fuels in homes and furnaces, harmful gases, smoke from vehicles, are also polluting the air. Causes and effects of air pollution. Burning of different items in the air like wood, coal, kerosene oil, and natural gas pollute the air. When these fuels are burnt, poisonous gases are produced. Smoke from motor vehicles and factories also produce harmful gases into the air. These pollutants in air cause headache, irritation of eyes, effects on lungs, and create tension. Land pollution Land pollution is caused when solid or liquid waste material are deposited on land or underground in a way that contaminate the soil and groundwater. Causes and effects of land pollution The land pollution is caused by garbage and food wastes. Rubbish like papers, tires, tins, rags, cardboards, plastic item. Release of industrial wastes. Following are the effects of land pollution. Destruction of beauty of our land. Places for harmful organisms such as cockroaches, flies, bacteria, and rats. These animals cause different diseases in human. The toxic materials polluting the soil can get into human body by contacting with skin. Consumption of fruit and vegetables grown in polluted soil. Breathing in polluted dust or particles. Noise pollution. It is the unwanted sound that is released into the environment. These unwanted sounds can cause noise pollution. Causes and effects of noise pollution. Use of pressure, horns, cars, motorcycles, rickshaws, without silencers, creates noise pollution on roads. Noise pollution affects both health and behavior. Unwanted sound, noise, can damage psychological health. Noise pollution can cause high stress levels, hearing loss, sleep disturbances, and other harmful effects. Ways to reduce pollution. Pollution has dangerous effects on humans, animals, and plants. No one can avoid its effects. We can reduce or control it by adopting the following ways. Forests should not be cut down. Plant saplings and encourage others to plant sapling as well. Plants are considered the lungs of the nature because they absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and filter out air pollution. We should avoid overuse of chemical, pesticides, and fertilizers in fields. We should try to use natural manure. Solid waste should be separated into different types, example, plastic, glass, paper, 
food, matter, dust, etc., because different waste is treated differently. Biodegradable and non-biodegradable materials. When an animal or plant dies, it decomposes. It decays and forms raw materials from which something else can grow. This is natural cycling. This process includes death, decay, new life, and growth. Therefore, biodegradable materials are those which can be broken down or decomposed by microorganisms like bacteria. Fruit and vegetables, grains, flour, bread, paper, wood, cloth, animals dung, etc. are examples of biodegradable material. The material which cannot be broken down or decomposed by microorganisms is called non-biodegradable. These materials remain for longer time and environment. Plastics, rubber, shopping bags, sand, cement, glass-made materials, etc. are example of non-biodegradable materials. Impact of non-biodegradable materials we know that some materials can be broken down by organisms, but others cannot. These materials have harmful effects on our environment and health. Non-biodegradable materials do not decompose by microorganisms. These substances get accumulated in the environment and cause pollution. Some of their harmful effects are given as Non-biodegradable materials such as plastics, glasses, etc. pollute our land and water. If these are thrown into water, they can block water flow. If thrown on land, affect the beauty of our land. When plastic waste is burned they release poisonous gases and cause air pollution. Pesticides, insecticides, are non-biodegradable. These chemicals are harmful and cause dangerous diseases. Dumping of plastic wastes make huge piles on land and occupy large space. Ways to reduce the impact of non-biodegradable materials. We can reduce the impact of non-biodegradable materials by following ways. We can reduce use of non-biodegradable material, such as plastic material, polythene bags. We can reuse food jars made of glass or plastic after having rinsed them. They are used to store dry materials. We can recycle non-biodegradable materials instead of growing the mass. This process not only save our time, but also money. We can replace non-biodegradable material by a specifically designed biodegradable material. Now biodegradable form of plastic is also available in market. Greenhouse effect. Burning fuels such as oil, gas, coal, or wood releases carbon dioxide gas into the atmosphere. Plants use carbon dioxide to make their food, so when trees are cut down, the amount of carbon dioxide in the air increases. It traps the heat from the sun and stops it from escaping into space. Keeping the earth warm in this way is called the greenhouse effect. If the earth's atmosphere becomes much warmer, the ice caps at the poles will begin to melt. The melted ice will cause the level of the seas to rise, which could cause serious floods in low-lying towns, cities, and fields. If the seas become warmer, sea animals and plants will be affected. In other parts of the world, a lack of rain will make the land too dry and dusty for any living things to survive. Poisonous gases and chemicals from factory chimneys dissolve in rainwater and fall as acid rain. This rain damages crops and destroys trees and stone buildings. 
When acid rain falls in rivers and lakes, it harms the fish and plants living in the water.